the ingredients for cooking often takes hard work and extraordinary patience. Finding mountain produce is no exception. After spending half a day searching, Rao Chungqing is still empty-handed. He's trekking on the Qingfeng Fault, 2,400 meters above sea level. At this altitude, the mountain dew nurtures a rare delicacy. Shiitake mushrooms. Growing on dead tree trunks, they are the king of mushrooms. These days, shiitakes are also grown commercially. But while farmed shiitakes look great, Mr. Rao knows they don't taste nearly as good. Wild mushrooms don't look very pretty, but they're more nutritious. They're tastier. Shiitakes grow slowly in the cool climate, but they're fleshier. The extreme temperature range between day and night causes the cap of the mushrooms to crack open. It takes a special set of climatic conditions for shiitakes to thrive. A fresh shiitake mushroom is 90% water. The secret lies in the drying process. Farmed mushrooms are char-grilled in a griller room. When fresh, the mushrooms are nowhere near as flavorful as when they are dried. This is because as they dry, they release a great deal of guanylic acid, which gives them their intense flavor. So it is only when the fungi are dried that they become a delicacy. Mr. Rao prefers to dry his wild shiitakes by natural means. The fleshy shiitakes dry in the sun and wind, slowly building up their flavor. Shiitakes that grow in the wild don't look as nice as farm shiitakes and they don't attract a good price. Mr. Rao intends to save this rare delicacy for his family. Wherever you go, people have special treats reserved for their loved ones. The locals call octopi tide gazers. They come out during high tide and go into hiding during low tide. Young Shalou is a skilled octopus collector. My parents get busy when I come home. They go out to catch mudskippers and octopi. Then we three make a meal together. It's such a happy feeling. The collagen in octopi mixes with the condiments to form a thick sauce. Their flesh is slightly firm and chewy. This delicacy is the pride of local fishermen. But Lily's favorite seafood is still hiding in the mud. It is the mud skipper an amphibious fish. Unless you spend at least five years perfecting the technique, don't even think about catching them. Mr. Young catches these five centimeter fish from a distance of 10 meters. He uses a five meter fishing rod with a six meter line. When I was little, I loved mudskippers, but Dad didn't know how to catch them. He spent years learning the skills. The whole process takes an eighth of a second. It's captured with a high-speed camera.
Dad, you're amazing. Be proud of your dad. A few mud skippers are all you need to make a delicious fish stew. The fish is tender and the stew is bursting with flavor. Smoking mud skippers over a hay fueled fire expels the oil from the fish. Once they are dried in the sun, they can be used as condiments to accompany any other seafood or dish. They add rich flavors without overpowering the flavor of the other ingredients. It's an elderly man's occasional treat for himself. The more extraordinary a delicacy is, the more ordinary it looks. Likewise, the joy and fulfillment from a day's hard work are incredibly rewarding. Yeah, so I don't know where I'm going, man.